so sorry. I need like a second so I can pull myself together. It's okay, baby. I know. I know, it's okay. Okay? We're gonna go right now. I do not know how I'm holding myself together. No, nope, I'm not. Actually, I'm gonna start crying. It's 9.48 a.m. I got up at 7 a.m. today because of shadow and I've been here since then. He's being checked on. The doctor will be in here to talk to me real quick soon. I'll keep you guys updated. So they're not sure if it's 100% a blockage. They were able to get a little bit of out of him. And right now he's on heavy medication, so he is asleep for right now. But so far so good, they said. Um, he has a UTI blockage, um, a little bit of blood in his urine. So it was kind of scary hearing all of that stuff. So sorry. I need like a second so I can pull myself together. Oh god. Okay. I don't care. Call me sentimental. I do not care. I am sentimental. I am a big crybaby. And I'm pregnant, which makes it even worse. Because I'm more sensitive. <laughs> but I can't believe them. I hope and I pray that everything's gonna be okay, that he's gonna be okay. Don't mind the mess in the back. I am literally kind of going through it. I haven't cleaned yet. I woke up and I got out of bed right away. I literally saw my cat just laying there, laying there looking so just laying there in pain. I was at the ER for five hours straight. At first, I didn't think anything was wrong with him. And they were like, oh, you should take him to the vet. It's cheaper. She's like, I'll just check real quick. She's over here, like, you know, checking his body around his, um, his bladder and everything. And she's like, oh, no, we need to take him in right now. It's up to you if you want us to take him in right now. I was like, yes, yes, like... If you're telling me that, then I know it's serious, so yes, I want you to take him in. This morning, I was going to go feed Shadow, but I have him strictly on liquid right now because I have noticed that it's kind of hard for him to use the bathroom, so I was doing research, and it was telling me, like, oh, like, you know, just give him liquid, no dry food, wet food is okay, just watch it, so I was on liquid, and I was going to take him in anyways to that today. I had no idea that he needed to be rushed to the ER. You know, everything fell in place how it needed to be. I was going to feed him and usually he he goes to the bowl and he's like, row, row, and then he gives me paw. Good boy! Well, he didn't come and he did not give me paw. So I couldn't find him first. And I was looking around, and I was like, Shadow, Shadow, like, where are you? I see him in his kitty litter. In his kitty litter. And he's just laying on his side, and it's like he's, like, not twitching, but his back leg is, like, you know, moving. And I'm like, Shadow, like, are you okay? I'm not close to the kitty litter, because I'm not supposed to be close to the kitty litter. So kitty litter, and I'm, like, all the way over here, you know, by the couches. And I'm like, Shadow, like, come on, babe. I'm going to feed you. And nothing i was there for five hours and then they came in the room later and told me like thank goodness like you brought him in when you did because if not he would have exploded and he would have died thank you to everyone that is you know saying i'm sending prayers to you in shadow or we're sending prayers to shadow i really appreciate that if you've been watching me for a while, you know Shadow is my everything and I've had him since he was a baby and they did tell me that I could call anytime I want just to check up and be like, hey, like, how is he? Just so I could kind of like 
feel a little bit better. I'm gonna be going to sleep. I will be keeping you guys updated for the next three days since he's supposed to be there for three days straight. Morning everyone. It is 7.54. I uh, woke up to call and see how Shadow is. So, no answer. They're open 24 hours and no answer. We are heading out to our glucose test for baby Stella, but um, I haven't gotten any news on Shadow. They have not called me back when I had called them earlier, so I'm probably going to call them in a couple hours. The glucose drink wasn't even like nasty or anything like that, to be honest with you. I am going to call again for Shadow, because I'm about to go in and get my blood drawn. Speaking. How can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to check in on Shadow. Okay, give me one second. Let me see if there's a doctor available for an update, okay? Okay, thank you. Where are you, Shadow Home? His vital signs have remained stable. The urine that's coming out now looks really clear. It was like, it looked like dark red blood when we got it out. <sighs> so far, it's so good. Um,. Just his whole kidney thing that they gotta double check. Some type of blood had entered in it. I think that's what he said, if I can remember. Uh -huh. But um, they're gonna clear that out. Shadow is gonna be able to come home with us today. Um, let me make sure to brief hold and let me check for you, okay? Okay. Hopefully, all good news. He's able to come home. I need to know what his dietary is. Where do I go for his medicine? Oh yeah, sorry. What? I'm about to drop you off in this. You're going to Petco. You're not going to Petco. I am going to Petco. He told me to take a picture and send it to him. But he wants me to be next to the fishies. Like that girl from Nemo. The one that has it in her bag. And she's like. Well, right now we're going to go pick up Shadow. He's coming home finally. Come on, babe. It's okay. You got it. Good boy. I know. So they had told us that he was being feisty, so he was in that little thing. They just put him in there. And <laughs> I literally just opened it, and didn't he just walk in there, babe? Yes. Okay, okay, baby. He is going to be in our bathroom while he has his healing process. Because, yeah, I'm not really sure if he's allowed to use the kitty litter yet. So I set up a pee pad right there. I'm gonna fix it again because he destroyed it. I'm gonna set one up in there too because he likes laying in there and I don't want him, you know, peeing on his bed. Some water, I'm about to give him food and see how that goes, so. Also look at my bum, she's so big now. My boyfriend was not playing when he said she was big. She is big. So with his food, he will be eating this. So they told me to do half of this and mix it with his regular food. His regular food is wet food. Okay, I just got out the shower. The noise you're hearing is Shadow licking him, trying to lick himself, but he's licking the cone around his neck. So every eight hours, I have to give him one of these. I have to put it in his mouth and just push the medicine in. Every 12 hours, um... My dad went to get that medicine because they had forgot to give it to me. Every two hour, 12 hours, I give him a pill. And then this is only for when it says two hours prior to that visit. So if I have to go to the vet, I just got to keep a close eye on him. Make sure everything's okay. Um, and hopefully nothing bad happens like he doesn't get reblocked and he has to go back in there because then he has to go through therapy again um but i just want to say thank you to everyone that had prayers out for shadow did you know that shadow did you know that everyone was praying for you baby everyone was praying they're praying for you babe they were praying, yeah they were. Thank you for all the prayers. Shadow is back home, safe and soon to be healthy again. <laughs> soon to be back to his regular self. But yes, so this is the end of the video. I love every single one of you. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. 
to my YouTube channel. I will be out with more videos real soon. If you actually took your time to watch this specific video about shadow, dude, I love you so much because that just tells me that you actually do like watching my videos because it's just a cat, you get me? He's not just a cat, he's family, but you get, but anyways, you a real one if you're watching this, so I love y'all. Bye.